So, <laughs> um, okay, we'll begin. Story of Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse was a fantastic artist from Cambridge, England. She enjoyed every bit of her music, and she made sure that she did it with great glee and joy. She sold wine on the side. It was an ironic location <laughs> store that she started to open, and it helped fund her other habits. Which were mostly getting tattoos and having abusive boyfriends. Um, it was a pretty cool job. <laughs> it's understood that Amy Winehouse's start in music began when she was a child, when she learned from a hermit under a bridge. A hermit named Kermit. He was a frog, a green frog, and he had a frog voice with a big girlfriend, and she is actually the one who taught her how to sing. And she learned from Kermit when one day he told her, you will learn how to sing. <laughs> <laughs> and he told her all about the rainbow connection and how tough it is to be green. And she just couldn't relate because she just hadn't done anything that really made her stand out. It was, it's tough being, you know, a pig on Broadway. And Kermit didn't understand that. So Kermit left her, and left her heartbroken. But eventually her heart was brought back by Joe. Joe was a friend of hers who actually helped raise her back up, get her back into singing, and all the things she loved. Because she needed love in her life. Love cures it all, and makes everything all better. Except for cavities. Love doesn't fix cavities. <laughs> <laughs> and the White House learned this the hard way. <laughs> By age 14, <laughs> which is impressive for an English pig. Which was really difficult to do because, you know, besides the wine house that <laughs> she happened to work out of, there were many other things that could have caused her cavities, like the lack of British dental hygiene, or the fact that they don't care about anything that had to do with their mouths. I think we all know that the moral of the story is stop eating candy drops, or you will get cavities. Don't do drugs, boys and girls. <laughs> because drugs is what starts Amy on the end of the road. The end of the road that started at 15. 15 and a half. <laughs> when it really happened. That's when it all went downhill. That's when she heard the song End of the Road by Boys to Men. <laughs> <laughs> that um, anybody can have their shirt fly back. And make it look like they're flapping in the wind. Boys to Men resulted in many deaths. Including one that was just a surprise to Whitney completely, you know, the death of Kermit uh, the Frog. Uh, here we can get into it. Oh. Okay. Uh, yes, death by Muppet. Thank <laughs> you. 
talk that line, so that's the problem. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> we have the pendactyl. Yes. Um, okay, you know what, Let, let's uh, tell the legend of the pendactyl. <laughs> Jurassic Park's a hell of a story. <laughs> <laughs> I was bored one night, drinking heavily, and said, I sent oh. <laughs> I sent it to you? To death by pendactyl. <laughs> you see what that was? Man! <laughs> so close to one. No! 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 <laughs> Remember 
marrying me. <laughs> One, but luckily it turned out well. Because I was from Russia, and Russia is full of questionable relationships. <laughs> <laughs> well, here in Russia, we make decent Italian food because we made sure that all of the Italians that we captured, just like Stalin and Mussolini, <laughs> made all of the pasta sauce taste wonderful. Just like it did at home where we had one table for everyone to eat pasta at. Mom, dad, the kids, the grandparents, aunt, uncles, nieces, <laughs> nephews, cousins, stray cats, dogs, <laughs> really large Gara, Keats, and the neighbor Joe, who has... He repeated who? Oh.